What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Sports to the Wire. For those of you who are actually new to the show, I am your host, Rashid White. All right, so today's video is going to be on James Harden and whether looking at last night's game, he had four points, uh, six something plus turnovers. Should this Philadelphia 76ers and the Brooklyn Nets actually do this? This swap over here for uh, Maxi, Ben Simmons, and uh, and James Harden, you know, reversing reversing roles there. So I just listen. I want the Brooklyn Nets fans to actually chill out, and this video is for you guys. Listen, the man is dealing with a lower extremity injury, a hamstring injury, and it's going to take him some time to actually put trust in that. I really think the Brooklyn Nets just actually get, you know, Kyrie get this whole vaccine situation um, under control. And I think once Kevin Durant actually comes back, I just think you actually sit him out for the last 25 games after the All-Star break. Him not actually playing in the All-Star game. And so does Ben Simmons actually help the Brooklyn Nets? Because I hear a lot of this, this chatter over here. Let's look at this real quick. Let's look at... Uh, Box score last night. Um, let's see, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. All right. So Nicholas Claxton, even though he had 23 points and 11 boards, he was still at minus 17. Uh, it was a bad game. I understand it was a back-to-back. -back. They're playing on the West Coast. All right, listen. Now, if Brooklyn <clears throat> wants to actually get uh, what's his name, Ben Simmons, you ha you got to understand he cannot shoot. He can't shoot. He can't make free throws. Um, I mean, it, it would be literally like playing five on four basketball. And the deeper you actually go into the playoffs with him, then the games will be tighter. And he will have, it will be, you know, like those sound to the line. It will be a hack of Simmons. And can he actually make free throws? And plus, he hasn't really played the whole year. I just don't understand how he actually really helps you if you're the Brooklyn Nets team. Now, I want people to understand this with James Harden and why it's most important that he actually, you know, he's here in a sense, though. Like, why he should be here. You have Kevin Durant, you have Kyrie Irving, and you have James Harden. Now, Kyrie, except for his size, he doesn't really have any limitations or any weaknesses to his game. Uh, he can catch and shoot. He can uh, put the ball on the floor. Uh, he can finish. He can make free throws. He's an excellent passer. He, he's a really good defender, underrated defender. People don't actually give him a lot of props for that. But same thing with James Harden. Catch and shoot. Can shoot the mid-range. Shoot the three. Catch and shoot. Uh, I mean, uh, hit threes. So you can't load up on James Harden and say, hey, Kyrie, go ahead and beat me. You saw when the, you know, when, when, the, when the Brooklyn Nets were actually playing the Golden State Warriors, how every time Kyrie Irving touched the basketball, then they would force the ball out of his hands and then uh, try to make Bembry or, or um, Patty Mills actually try, try to beat them. So, yeah. So with the Brooklyn Nets, I mean, with all three of these guys intact, you can't do that. I mean, you've seen last year in the playoffs where – and I'm hearing this this morning from Frank Isola and and uh, Brian Scalabrini. They do a morning radio show on uh, NBA radio there, Siri Satellite XM. Good show. And and uh, they're saying that this team is presently constructed. They will not be able to beat the Bucks. I'm like, I just want to remind you guys that with all three of these players, the first two games of that series last year was unwatchable. I mean, they blew the doors up. I mean, two games, it was like almost 60 points. With Giannis Antetokounmpo at full strength. I mean, no injuries, nothing. The next game they had, it was 86-83. I think James Harden went out. Yeah, I think James Harden had the injury. And and then it was 86-83. It was, uh, so they held the Bucks to 86 points. James Harden is not there. I mean, no, no, I think it was Kyrie that got hurt. I gotta, I gotta go look it up again. I'm just doing this off the rip over here. So, 
you have Ky uh, uh, Kyrie or, or James Harden at full strength. I mean, each one of those guys are going to give me 27 points. We're talking about 3-0. The next game, I say the Bucks get that in game four. And then at full strength, the Brooklyn Nets close them out in a gentleman's sweep in five games. So stop giving me all this nonsense over here where the Brooklyn Nets aren't going to actually be able to, to beat any of these teams. We've seen that the, well, Kevin Durant on the Golden State Warriors, I, we all can agree that Kevin Durant, I mean, I'm sorry, Kyrie Irving and, and James Harden is definitely better than Klay Thompson or, and, and uh, Steph Curry on a skill level. So if they can just blow the doors off, uh, or, or, off of these other teams, when Kevin Durant was in, in, you know, in Golden State, what makes you think that that Brooklyn can't even do that? And they have better pieces. They have Joe Harris. Now you actually have Patty Mills actually coming off the bench now, just in case Joe Harris actually does struggle. And I can even argue if you had Patty Mills last year, they the Brooklyn Nets actually go ahead. You know, he actually, the Brooklyn Nets actually wins the championship. So uh, I want everybody to calm down, just chill out. Uh, the Brooklyn Nets will be fine. They only three games out of first place. Um, I think there's some rumblings over there saying that they are going to probably end this mandate thing in New York City. The cases are, are significant, 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 are down, <laughs> and they're legal anyway. You got to understand that these mandates that they're putting on the citizens of New York City are against the law. They're against the law. And the Supreme Court is actually knocking this stuff down all over the country, different Supreme Courts. So we'll actually see what happens. And I think Brooklyn will come back full strength and we will win a championship. Just don't worry. It's better to have all these, all of this drama and all these injuries that's happening right now sooner rather than later in the actual playoffs. All right. So if you like this video, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, certainly share this video. I'm sorry I'm all over the place. I mean, this is just no notes, no prep or anything like that. Just me coming on camera and trying to actually calm people down. <laughs> all right, remember, definitely hit that like button, hit that, hit that subscribe button, and uh, definitely share this video out to other Nets fans out there. It's going to be okay. Don't worry. You know, everything happens for a reason. Peace out.